four, I hope everyone is well. I am actually going to load my stream onto my phone. You all didn't do that earlier. How do you guys do different accents? Are you able to do different accents? I just, I only know the, like, I speak kind of in the accent of the language I'm speaking in. So it's really determined, like, it just really de depends on what I, learned like if i learned english so real there, there's like a lot of standards about how i learn things and stuff so i think i'm pretty good with the accents in the languages that i know and thank you so much for the hydrate rowdy you came in quick it was a nice little chug Okay. Well, it's more like a sip. It's like a bigger sip. It's definitely more than Scully. Okay, I have that set up. I have that set up. Been on Twitch most of the day. Nice. I have been at work. And then when I got home, I was doing um, Summoner Wars Chronicles. I've been thinking a lot about like streaming. So there's a new game that's coming out in seven days, I think. Maybe it's six now. I wanna and I wanna play it. Live. And it's a good thing if you have off. If you don't have work, why not have fun? Truly, truly. And then lastly, I need to do something else. What was I doing? What was I doing? Thank you so much for the hydrate, Ronnie is me. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be able to do Dark Diviner. Diviner? Yes. <laughs> I had to think about it. I had to think about it. And what else? What else am I missing? Oh, I was going to... Advertise it in my little Discord, in my announcement. I am live. There we go. Are you guys ready for the Dark Diviner quest? All right, I'm gonna put this over here on the side. And open the party and then we can get started. And thank you so much for the cupcake. I love cupcakes. Alright. I don't know why I closed it immediately after opening it. But that's how we're going to do it. <laughs> and let's go ahead and see what we need to do for this quest exactly so i do believe we need to actually get the link first so we go to the talent arcana and the arcana association room and let's make sure i'm on channel one yes i am this is the best channel to get all the stuff done i thought that was mona my friends for a second i'm just gonna put wanted wanted dead or alive and then we can make the link, right? Yes, unlock link. Wow. Speak to Laorire in the Arcana Association room within Raft Royal Castle and select Promising Arcana Candidates Dark Diviner to receive the stage one quest. All right. The flame should respond to the Arcana. Huh, it's you, what brings you here today? No, there's a bit of time before I send off my scheduled progress report to the Queen, so I figured it'd be a good idea to spend a moment conferring with you. Promising Arcana Talents. We're always asking around for potential candidates who might be able to use, make use of the Arcana. Perhaps this is a good chance for you to dabble in them yourself. Which Arcana Talent do you want to know more about? I'll bet I have the quests that would line up perfectly with your interests. Dark Diviner. I see. So you're already working on a quest with another member of the association. If you need to refresh yourself on a particular 
quest whereabouts? What? I had a quest this entire time? Moments like these where, where you would... <laughs> My English is not the best today. I'm going to take a step of water. I mean, a sip of water. And then we're going to try again. Okay. Moments like these where you work closely with another of our members often prove pivotal to both their growth and yours. That's why in order to help you remain focused on a single arcana, you can't commit yourself to more than one arcana link quest at a time. Once you finish the quest you're assisting with now, we'll see where you where we can direct your positive energies next. You end your conversation with it. I am not interested in whatever quest I have to do for whatever, which other one. So we're just gonna, I think I'm gonna try to give it up if it lets me. Oh, Harmonic Saint. Oh, I could do that too. Oh no. Okay, so let's try to do this. I'm not sure. If it... Look, it's one of these like kitchen dungeon things. Goodness gracious. And they don't let us give it up. So we're gonna have to do it. This is how we do it. Oh wow, I got so I sold these a lot. Again, I said that entirely wrong, but it is what it is. Tintable flowerless wings. I feel like I sold that too low. Tintable flowerless wings special box. Tint. Special wings box. Oh, I actually bought it. I sold it for more than that. So that's pretty good. I don't know what these... I thought that was a die box, but that looks like a wing box. Shoot, where'd it go? It is my opinion we should abolish these. This looks terrible. <laughs> Let's actually put this on so I can see the look of this. I like the wings, I just hate this color scheme. Like the green. Particularly the green, but I don't know what color I want these actually. I'm kind of getting a vibe that these, this like lacy kind of part should be white. No, it should be black and then white. No, that's too basic. I need to think. I need to think about the proper way. Maybe we can pick a color together another time. Let's put this in the VIP section. I don't normally like to put it here. But I'm feeling like maybe we'll get an idea about what this color should be like. So there's only two. There's only two dyes. So we can dye these this a couple of times, actually. Let's go ahead and do this. Deliver 10 pieces of turkey meat, 10 walnuts. Is it walnuts? Yeah, walnut. Walnut. Perfect. Purchase all. And then deliver the 10 walnuts to... I still don't know how to say his name, but he's in the kitchen. And actually, I'm ridiculous, so I'm just going to teleport there automatically. Garden in front. I think garden in front will be quick, the quickest way. I got too many things on my screen. It's bothering me. Let's look. Okay, so let's actually remove this from the... It's making the, the list look extremely long for no reason. We'll just keep that there for a reminder. And then that's a good size. Okay, he's delivering the walnuts to him. Rebecca! Oh, sure, our walnuts are right. I must not have been, it must not have been easy. Thank you so much for bringing them. Well then, 
I'll return to him and now I... Getting used to it. I'm okay. He said it extra loud, but that doesn't make it extra convincing. You watch him handing over the walnuts you gave him to him with a bit of worry in your heart. Good. These ingredients are ready. Now then. Quickly! Put the pan over the fire. Okay. Remember, keep it in high heat so the outside gets crispy but the inside stays moist. And keep checking in on it to make sure the flavors of the ingredients come through. Okay, I needed the dough for you. So you better bake it at the right amount of time with the right amount of heat. Don't waste my efforts. Uh, okay. This, uh, this dough is kind of, um, leaking from the pan. Put it, put it deeper into the oven so it gets higher heat. That's it. That way it'll bake properly and maintain its shape. No, that's too much. If it burns, you'll have to start over from the beginning. Look alive, son! Uh. Is this a cooking lesson or a boot camp? His determined expression never falters. He seems committed to seeing this through. It seems like the best thing you can do is cheer him on. That, and gather the rest of the ingredients. The final one is chestnut. This doesn't actually seem too terrible. I thought this was going to be you. I thought this was going to be like that nonsense kitchen dungeon, which I absolutely despise. Did I spell chestnut wrong? Yes, I did. My bad. I feel like I have this already. Let's check on Miss Macchiato. Ooh. Yes, I, I. she's actually available. So if anybody has it, it's her. She has all of the cooking things. I have two chestnuts. Um, and I believe that's it. I even have mushroom gratin. And that's my own work. Dude, I was killing it. What is that? Five star? Four star. Too bad it's not five star flawless. Greater than great. A punch of a pentagram. Oh my luck, cause I am. What is it called? Look how much money I have. Why do I have so much money? Um, I lost focus. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? I feel like that's 15 million more than I had. Just out of nowhere. Is there like a, a history? Where did that even come from? What did, who bought my stuff for 15 mil? I don't think I had anything that valuable, but... I was looking up chestnuts. I have two, right? Two. And then we need 10 chestnuts. So buy all of these. Oh shoot, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> Rebecca, I've been waiting for so long. He takes the chestnuts from you. He looks haggard, but his movements are still swift. You're almost done. Now the finishing touch of the dish. The chestnuts. The chestnuts! Toast them to the perfect golden brown. Soak them in fresh honey and garnish your dish. That's it. Yes, you're doing it perfectly. When you glance over, you can see him holding a pan of toasted nuts with a proud smile. It smells amazing. Look, I'm done. I did it. No, not quite yet. You're not going to deliver the prototype as the final project, are you? Huh? Forget what you've made so far. It's gone. Just remember the feeling of finishing your dishes. Now that you've done the practice run, it's time to make your gift. You can do it. Have confidence. Remember what you learned. I need to do it all over? So that's why I needed so many extra ingredients. His shoulders fall. I'm sorry. I guess I'll be here a while longer. Hello, Easy. How are you? You didn't forget what Loia told us, right? About Birch? Can you ask him how to contact the Aces? Since I, I need to stay here for a while. I'll see you later. Hungry? Oh. Are you gonna plan any? What do you normally cook or do you normally eat out? What are you gonna eat? 
still deciding. He opens his mouth to say more, notices him looking at him, and slams his mouth shut. Depends how I feel. Same. For now, you'll have to visit Virched as he asked. I was going to do the Dark, dark Diviner mission, but apparently I have this one Harmonic Faint mission I need to do first. Um, Talk to him in Titan. So if I remember correctly, that is Defeat the Shadow Wizard. The dungeon guide. And then we can actually fly over there. It's gonna be a bit of time. I sneezed. I sneezed again. So they don't actually let us fly directly into the druid's house for whatever reason. We have to land at the bottom and then walk up. And look, young Tarlock is here. We love young Tarlock. He's amazing. Let's try talking to him. A young boy who hides behind Birch whenever a stranger comes. His flaming red eyes it seemed to be full of untold stories. Big sis, long time no see. Did you miss me? <laughs> Tarlock is like the only one who actually remembers me. It it makes me feel happy. One second. I have to blow my nose. All right, I'm back. I'm reminded of my granddaughter, Lena, today. His age as a parent through his deeply chiseled feature. I'm not going to read that, actually. Well, look who it is. Welcome. Oh, hi there. Do you want to play a game? I assume that you're here on some errand or another. Is it about the new research you're wrapped up in at the royal castle? Ask about the aces. You give Birch a quick explanation of the situation and ask if he knows how to contact the aces. Er, uh, you mean you're not here to see me? Tarlock lets go of Birch robes in order to cross his arms and pout at you. Oh. Birch strokes his beard thoughtfully as he listens to you, and then gives you a brief laugh when he hears what you're looking for. <laughs> it's true that I'm in contact with Merlin occasionally, but I'm afraid he always sends his letters with his personal owl. He's done some enchantment on it, so it can always find him even if they leave before he re before it returns. So I can't send word to him, I'm afraid. They live a carefree life, to be sure. But I don't know why they couldn't have set up a slightly more reliable method of contact. Though I admit, I see the appeal of limiting one's correspondence. <laughs> Trick or treat. However. And thank you so much for the candy, doggy blue. I enjoy them. And that is why I haven't removed them yet. Because <laughs> it's no longer I mean, it's no longer Halloween. <laughs> It's not been Halloween for a while now, but I think it's, it's pretty much consistent. This is going to be our life now. <laughs> However, I happened to hear about them recently. A commerce peddler that often passes this way mentioned in passing that they've been helping out those in need in M.A. Maka. Shoo! I was sneezing too, Tarlock! The peddler said she'd seen Starlet around M.A. Maka stage this very morning. If you hurry, I'm sure you can still catch her. You nod and then thank Birched. How are you, doggy blue? The aphids never stay in one spot for too long, so you better hurry. Quick. That's the fastest way to get word to him. I'd expect you to look more pleased with the news. Is something else on your mind? Ah, I see. You need to get word to your fellow association member. Well, once again, your timing is impeccable. It just so happens that I'm in the middle of writing a letter to uh, the, in Royal Castle. We're friends of old from the days of the late king. And we're regularly exchanging news and potion recipes. I'll send word to her to get news to your association members. So you can go on ahead. I know how quick those aces can be. <laughs> you thank Birch once again, who smiles benevolently and shoos you away. Go to Emimaka to find Starlet. There is no one quicker than me. There is no NPC faster than me. If I can teleport instantly to the M.A. Maka fountain. And then also I can also go to the assembly spot where the... Who is this? 
Nuna Moonlight. That's actually a cool name. I don't know what you said, but it sounded very cute, miss. I think Del. Is it over here? Over here? The stage? Oh, so it's over here. Oh! I was going in the wrong direction. There she is. Why have you here? <laughs> you came quick. Hello. How have you been? Aaron and I were out running errands when we ran into your friend here. What a cutie. Where'd you find this kid anyway? You never mentioned him before. He seems to want to talk to Starlet, but he won't say why. It's a bit worrying. Uh, hello. He is up next to you, blushing from ear to ear. Observe him. He has a crush on Starlet? Everybody does. You grab- okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold on. Okay. You grab his- you grab him, shaking hands, and drag him up to Starlet. Er, excuse me, you're Starlet, right? I'm, my name is, it's nice to meet you. Did you want to tell me something? Yes, yeah, spit it out, kid. You know we could see you hovering around us. Uh, I, sorry, I just, uh. Come on, Aaron, you're scaring him. It's not that busy today, so please don't rush what you need to say. Tell me at your own pace. <laughs> this is so cute. Um, well, I heard a long time ago, Starlet, you stood in for someone who's someone's final performance. Uh, of course, I'm sure you've done thousands of performances, so I don't um expect you to remember. But anyway, the particular performance was uh that was my mom, and she she practiced so hard so that she wouldn't disappoint the audience, and well, she couldn't couldn't perform in the end, but. The performance was a success, success because of you. So, even though it was years ago, I wanted to say, I wanted to say thank you on behalf of my mom. Wow, that's really sweet. It's not you. It's not every day you hear a proper thank you, right, Starlet? <laughs> You're talking about Bethan, right? Oh, you you do remember her? Of course, I remember all my performances, but I remember her especially well. She came to watch me a lot. I've always admired how hard she worked. But she called me her role model. It meant a lot. I don't... I didn't find out later that day why she entrusted her performance to me that night. It's very sorry to hear it. Ah. I had heard that she had a baby. I guess that must be you. Yes, that... Oh, one more thing. He closes his eyes and offers Starlet the gift he'd been holding back behind his back. Oh, Huh? What's it? Did you make it? Oh, is it for me? Yes. Um, sorry. I know it's not the prettiest, but... But it's a recipe I learned from the best chef in the kingdom, and I... Well, I worked hard on it. I uh, chose the recipe is good for your throat, since your voice is very important to people. I wanted to help you avoid losing it. As he rambles, his voice goes from loud and determined to quiet as a mouse. Thank you so much. If you made it for me with your whole heart, I'm sure it will be delicious. Thank you. With your determination and the way you cherish the past, you've brought me joy today. Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. I'm glad you could see, to see that smile at last. <laughs> You're cute. Oh? Oh, they're here. <laughs> Can you believe that little him is doing so well? Hey, Laurire, stay behind the tree or we'll get caught. Ah, uh, so sorry. But I can't see from here. We're supposed to be spying on them. You can't spy on someone if you're just going to- just out in the open. <laughs> like... Ah! Uh, well, what have we here? I knew I felt someone watching me. You guys! Seems like I found some sneaky little twerps planning on ambushing my dear beloved friends. 
Uh, um, I, uh, how did you find us? Guess I'm just that good. Sorry, pretty lady. If you're threatening my friends, I can't let you go. So what should I do with you? Oh, wait, th there might be weirdos, but they're not that bad. Hang on, I, I can explain. Koena and Laurita stumble out from behind the tree. Sorry, so sorry. I know we're eavesdropping, but... <laughs> Listen, it's a misunderstanding. We were just worried about him. We just wanted to make sure that he would be okay. Even though he seems mature, he's actually really shy. But we weren't sure if he'd be able to say thank you properly. Hey! What are you talking about? Koena, you little... I told you to stop babying me. But I asked her to follow you. We just happened to stumble across Birched Ladder. Oh, yeah, that's right. We accidentally saw it when we met Az Azhela. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's how we knew you were in Emeimaka. Koana was driving me out of my mind with her worrying, so I suggested that we go see how you were for ourselves. Hmm. But I guess the Arcano Association needs to find a member who's skilled at sneaking. Since we were caught so easily. <laughs> Silent listening to everyone talk let out a small laugh. I see what's happening. I can tell that you have some good friends. They're not my friends. I think she would be really happy seeing you right now. Yeah. Huh? She stares in confusion at him and her. Who are s smiling melancholy mel mel <laughs> melancholy melancholy is that just melancholy for smiling melancholy smiles at each other oh yeah that's an adjective yes sorry my bad <laughs> we're smiling melancholy smiles at each other hey i can't do one nice thing for you without you snapping like a little yappy little dog why does starlet get to say things like that she has she's nothing like you She's my mom's role model and hero. Hmm. You know, after you gave your present to me and Starlet, it seemed like you still had some presents left. No! I, I don't know what you mean. He tries to hide the bundle behind his back, but... What's in there? I knew it. I could tell you were holding a lot of stuff. I wonder who those are for. Uh, yeah, well, I was going to give this to you at, at some point. He reluctantly takes something out of his bag. Did you make some extras for us? You think so? It looks like it was made with great care, just like he gave me. Wow, so you brought along ours too? And then you tried to hide it. Oh wow, this is great. Even though you're blushing, you seem happy. In that case, let's all eat together. This is a gift we should definitely, we definitely need to eat it right away while it's hot. Aaron, weren't you just saying you were hungry? Plus, it'll be even better if we eat it together. That's true. So, how about it, everyone? I would love to. Of course. Whoa. I I'm really excited to meet you both. There's no reason to refuse. Eo and Rebecca should come as well. Okay. Come on. Despite his tempered response, he turns and looks at you pleadingly. It seems like he really might want to eat with everyone. You nod and join the others for, for a picnic. Oof, I'm so full. The food that he made turned out delicious, and Aaron and Starlet's lunch wasn't half bad either. Right? The culinary artist also always packs us extras if we're going out. He wants to make sure that we can share with ever, anyone who's hungry. Oh wow, I couldn't eat another bite. Everything was so good. Especially his snack. That was the best. Don't, don't tease me. No, I mean it. The texture was nice, and it wasn't too sweet. I could definitely tell that your ingredients were fresh and healthy. And most importantly, it was obviously made with love. I've had a wonderful time. Thank you. Thank you so much. N no problem. Oh, I've never seen him smile like that. Right? It was definitely worth following him. Hm. I know you just came so you could make fun of me. You probably took that letter on purpose, too. You better say sorry to her later you shouldn't look at other people's things wow those two yeah i wish you could see this moment too i know she would be happy overhearing starlet and 
He stops glaring at Kuena and smiles softly. After the last scraps of food are gone, you help the others clean up the picnic area. Everyone exchanges friendly goodbyes. It seems like everyone's happy, including him. Since he's feeling better, you should head back to the association room. Yay! Mission clear. Okay. No, oh no, we can't. We're not, we're not there yet. We still need to talk to him again. Where's he at? Okay, there he is. And let me make sure everything is okay. So the loading time is decent. I was kind of I was kind of worried that the stream was behind, but on Twitch it is proper. I'm not sure how it is on TikTok. I'm not able to check that. Okay. Okay. He smiles to himself and clears his throat loudly, gathering his confidence. Ah, oh, what good timing. Thanks. Oh, and of course you too. I found a lot of interesting books recently. But I've been reading day and night. Probably not a good idea. I've been exhausted. But after eating, I feel a lot better. Me too. Me too. It all seemed healthy. Perfect recovery food. And it even tasted great. You might have hidden talent for cooking. I guess making good food could be considered a kind of healing. But you said you never cooked before, right? No, I hadn't. It's mostly thanks to his help that it turned out so well. Honestly, it was really hard. Never mind. As long as you guys are happy, then it's fine. I'm glad I worked. My hard work paid off. So you'll cook for us again, right? Oh no! How did you come to that conclusion? Aw. So you won't? But your cooking was really good. Even though I'm full. I kind of wish there was more. You really liked it that much? Well, I guess I'll think about it if the mood strikes. Really? Yay, I'm so happy. Stop. Get off, I told you not to fling yourself at me. <laughs> Kona, you're going to knock him over. Laurea tries to pull Kona off him, fighting back a warm smile. After getting back on his feet, Laurea... Thank you so much for the follow. After getting back on his feet with, with Laurita's help, dusts off his clothes and looks at you. Thanks for helping me find Starlet. And thanks for helping me talk to her. I feel... When I think about my parents, it doesn't feel so heavy. And I bet somewhere, my mom feels the same way. Next time we eat together, I'll make sure to invite you. Oh, and... He beckons you closer as he's about to share a deep dark secret. I'm going to make sure your food turns out the best. Thank you. I mean it. Even leaning in, his voice is soft enough that you can barely hear him. But when you see his face, you know what he means. You ended your conversation with him. Okay, now we finish this one. He shuffles to the couch in the corner. His steps short and quick. Okay, so now he's over there in his spot. And then now we can we can do the divine what is it? Dark Diviner? First link quest. Promising Arcana talent. Dark Diviner. Yes. You've already unlocked the Arcana link for the Dark Diviner up to stage one. I knew it was right to trust your unmatched potential for growth. And as luck would have it, there's a quest lined up for this if you'd like to undertake it you'll you may only undertake one arcana quest at a time yes i'd be happy to tell you more about the dark divine arcana rowan will be waiting for you i feel like i need to blow my nose again one second <laughs> My greatest fear is that, like, one day, I will forget to mute. And I just took a sip of water. Oh, shoot. I constantly drop my water. You ended your conversation with him. Okay. And then let's go ahead and go here. And then be able to put this on the, the tab. Okay, okay. 
Okay, talk to him in the Arcana Association room. I would like to your assistance with an important matter. Please visit the Arcana Association room when you can. One second, I need to blow my nose again. <laughs> Sorry! Okay, I'm back. For real, for real. Hello, I have a request for you. It's somewhat urgent. Laura glances at the fireplace where Rowan is no longer standing. Oh, shoot. Rowan received a letter from her grandmother and disappeared suddenly. Let me explain. Rowan, there's a letter for you from someone named Birog. Do you know them? Oh yes, that's Grandma, Grand, Grandmaster. Wow, I just sent her a letter asking her to come back now that I'm doing something useful with my life. She responded so quickly. I guess she must have been waiting. Maybe I finally managed to impress her. Let's see. Oh look, Laurita, this section is addressed to you. Grandmaster's Grandmaster sends her gratitude. Thank you for taking in my <laughs> my inadequate daughter it's a long it's a long past time she starts acting like a grown-up you can't imagine my relief to hear that she's joined such a trustworthy organization i'll pray for your continued prosperity for both you and your association however it seems like she caused an inexcusable incident her powers have only become stable recently so this may have been inevitable i apologize for for my insufficient instruction. This part is addressed to me. Rowan, come back. Um, sorry. Rowan, come back home. How many times have I warned you about bringing harm to others? To make matters worse, you show no sign of remorse. Rowan, you don't have to read the whole thing. No, no, it's fine. There's not much left. I should just... How much longer do I have to take care of you? Is getting too old for this. At least the spell I cast before I left controlled the damage. There was only one reason no one was hurt. You have to be grateful for that. That's it. That's the end. Don't let it get to you, Rowan. After all, you've been training hard and you've made great strides. Have faith in yourself and your skills. <sighs> sure. Faith in my ability to mess up, maybe. She scrambles through her bag, hand closing on the wings of the goddess. No, Grandmaster was right. As usual, I shouldn't be here. Not without more training. And I said I wanted to prove my worth. I'm surprised you let, let me in after such a ridiculous boast. There's not even anything to prove yet. So, so, I'll go try and train a little harder. Wait! But Rowan does not stop to hear his pa his protest. She already used the wings of the goddess. Dang, I feel bad for her. Like, why'd she get... <sighs> and that's why I called you. I can't deny that Rowan caused an accident when she first came. But that was before she was proficient with the Arcana. There hasn't been a single repeat of this incident. If Rowan wishes to leave the to train with her grandma... And of course, that is her choice to make. But I can't help but notice that she never truly said what she wanted. So I'm asking you to find her and find out. Make sure she knows that she's welcome to return to the association at any time if she so chooses. Of course, I would never minimize the, da the dangers posed by accidents occurring dur during Rowan's training. But many arcana are similarly dangerous. That's why we take special precautions during training. We train in locations where an explosion could be effectively contained. Or we make sure a healer is present during training. He was helped out with Rowan's training from time to time. Huh? Me? Yes, I can. I help. But I'm only there to place a blessing of protection before she starts. Then I just sit nearby in case of injuries. It's just a precaution, since the training ground is so remote. But I'm learning something too. 
I'm learning all Rowan's opinions on stairs and doors. I can recite them for you if you want. And you haven't, haven't been having trouble, have you? The more stable the Arcana becomes, the less cause we'll have for any concern. So, that's why I don't think there's any need for Rowan to train elsewhere. But I'm not sure how, I'm not sure Rowan will listen to me. But you, Rebecca, you're walking the same path as Rowan, I would say. I believe she'd talk to you. Would you go and listen to what she has to say? I'll do my best. We already know why I relate with Rowan. Because a Malaysian gets the worst of treatment in this game. Thank you. That's a weight off my mind. Thinking back to the memory Rowan shared with us when she first arrived, I recalled her travels through Dumbarton from Emmemaka. So perhaps you can ask around to find her, starting in Emmemaka? Look for clues to Rowan's whereabouts in Emmemaka Town Square. Let me drink some more water. Oh no! <laughs> you see my water fell in a box? My water fell into a box. My water bottle, just to be like clear. And um, let me actually go to Emmemaka. Oh, this title's pretty. White flower bed. Wait, what? White flower buds bleed red berries. And that is seven. Emmemaka Fountain. Okay. And then we open the map. Oh, she's right in the middle. Oh. Oh, I have to ask people? Delon, okay. Um. Hey, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? Rowan, I haven't heard that name in a while. Yes, she used to live here, but... I mean, it might be a different Rowan, though. Lots of people could use that name. Whoa. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, she seems reluctant to talk about her. Maybe if you prove that you know Rowan, it'll put her mind at ease. She has white hair. She has purple hair. What? She has white hair. Right, right. The Rowan I knew had white hair too. They're not completely white. How long is her hair? Very long. It's actually very long. Well, it's like mid-length, right? That sounds right too. But I bet a lot of people have hair like that. What about her eyes? What color were they? They're purple and yellow. What kind of questions are they used? Yeah, okay. I guess we're talking about the same person. Sorry. I just like to be careful who it, who I talk to. Rowan has been treated really badly when she lived here. Everyone avoided her. Kids and adults both. People used to whisper about that druid family. I thought you might already know. I haven't been reading the continue button. I feel like it changes sometimes. Um... You were wrapped up in that business with the Prime Minister, weren't you? That was a bit of a commotion. And before... And then, even before that, the magic school burned down. And people like to say that the Druids were at fault for that tragedy. People said that she had an accident back then, too. After that, she moved away. She came back again not that long ago. But still. But she still had a rough time of it. She didn't stay long. She says, she says that she was going to, uh, I don't remember, but she talked about wanting a view of the lake and not having to travel too far to go shopping. So maybe Abnia? There's a street near the marketplace where people tend to stay if they don't plan to settle down. I don't know. I could be wrong, but... She didn't want to stay near too many people, so definitely not the bar camp. Was that helpful? I hope so. They had a Rowan for me if you see her. 
Okay. So look for her whereabouts, okay? Um, I don't know these people. Grandma dressed by grandson. Oh, grandpa dressed by granddaughter. Town boy who messed up training. Ooh. Grandpa dressed by granddaughter. Grandma dressed by grandson. Where are they? Where's the family? Where's the grandson? Are, are these a grandson and granddaughter? Town girl finished with training. Town boy in training. Town girl in training. What are these people in training for? What are they even looking at? Okay. Or ruined my practice. Rowan? Sounds familiar, but no, I remember. She went to my school a while ago, but my parents said not to hang out with her, so I never really knew her. What can I do? It's just gonna be so mad. I'm up next. Okay. Brief. I got this. I got this. Ask about Rowan. Huh? Rowan? I don't know. I kind of have a lot on my mind. Sorry, I really don't know. I'm gonna be the royal guard captain someday. I have to focus. I don't have time to play with others. Okay. I have enough MP. And this MP50 potion too. Just in case. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be impressed with me now. After our Rowan. Um, let's see. I don't think I've... Oh, wait, no. I remember. That unlucky girl, right? Yeah. Her name was Rowan. She was always tipping around her own feet and forgetting important supplies and things like that. I didn't really know her, but um, what else? She usually wore flowers, I think. Mm, I think she and Dallin were kind of friends. Never understood what Dallin saw in her. Maybe she was just being nice. She's giving mean girl energy. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Time to go home and lie down. After our ruin. I don't know. Um, I guess that does sound familiar. Right, yeah. What are you looking for? She was kind of weird. And all the town elders told us to be careful around her. I can't really tell you anything. I mostly remember her just being quiet. I don't think I ever talked to her. He's got long. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Hey. Up temple like always, huh? Ask about Rowan. Rowan? You want to hear a story about the rosenberry tree? Ask about Rowan. Not <laughs> in agreement. <laughs> it's like, um, can you? It's like basically, she's like, that's not what I asked about. Or I totally understand the rosenberry tree. Not in agreement. The story goes that druids brought Rowan trees, rosenberry trees here from from a faraway land. They used they used them to make all sorts of things. Wands protective charms you know supposedly every berry on the branch of a rowan berry tree can hold a different meaning so if your head full of worries and you shake a branch each berry will take one fear and you'll come right down there's also an old bedtime story about them a druid taught it to me once long ago in a forest clearing three fruits dropped from a rowan berry tree Pop. They rolled in three directions. Each one stopped in front of a sorrowful child. The first child had nothing and lived in poverty. The second child had witnessed terrors and lived in fear. The third child knew no others and lived in loneliness. All three children cried three tears into the rowan berries. Plop, plop, plop. The first berry said to be said to the first child. Plant me, and you will know plenty. The second berry said to the second child, Plant me, and you will know courage. The third berry said to the third child, Plant me, and you will know companionship. The first rowan berry tree bore a powerful druid staff, and the child never wanted for anything that magic could provide. The second rowan berry tree bore many berries, and the child was, was wrapped. Then... From that day forward, in red dyed robes, the color of courage. And the third rowan berry tree grew leaves that whispered wisdom. And soon the third child was sought after far and wide. Can you imagine a leaf whispering in your ear? Don't forget to turn off the oven. The druid I knew told me that there were many stories and lullabies like that. But well, 
That's the only one I know. <laughs> did that help? It kinda did. Hmm. Then would you like to hear a song? Yeah. I wanna talk again and see what happens if you ask about Rowan. Ask about Rowan, ask about Rowan. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah, I seen her around before. Kids in this town used to be real nasty to her. Lots of lots of talk about bad luck. She always stuck out because she had those bright red berries with her. It's not something you see every day, right? At first, when the kids hassled her, she'd fly back with a big branch. And after a while, she seemed to give up. And she'd just stare him down. Actually, now that you bring her up, I don't think I've seen her recently. Maybe ask about... Maybe ask some of the folks? Hmm. Then, would you like to listen to a song? No thank you, Nelly. I'll see you later. Hello, Demon Fox King! Hello! Um, I'm gonna call you Fox. Is that okay? And thank you so much for the hydrate. Let me see. I dropped my water again. Can you believe that? Hmm. I'm not going to put the, the water bottle in the same spot as I always do. I put it somewhere else, so hopefully it does not fall. Let's talk to Lorna. Oh, she doesn't, she doesn't talk about sagas. I mean, she doesn't talk about, um, thanks, they're fine, but I love talk, taking it with all with me, rich person. He doesn't. I didn't think he would, honestly. Do you play, um, I feel like you do. You do play Mabby, right, Fox King? I feel like I've seen you. Maybe in someone else's chat? Hey there, what brings you here today? Ask about Rowan. Rowan? Oh, I remember. She came by once and tried to sell me a bunch of flowers from a Rowan berry tree. But they're so small and not colorful at all. They're no good for decoration or wreaths. No one's looking to buy them, so I couldn't help her. I do think de uh -huh. I do think Dellen ended up talking to her more though. Maybe you should ask her. Hmm. You have any more questions? I feel like I talked to everyone. Why do I still have to? Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> I talked to her first, and then I talked to everyone. Well, I just want to talk to these people. Is this really what people are wearing? Kid thief Dave. Looks good though. He looks good. For a grandpa, he looks good. Is that really what people are wearing kids these days? Actually, he looks a little... He looks a little, um... I don't know how to say it. I mean, he does look good. But there, where is his shoes? Does he have shoes? Are those his potato feet or are they shoes? Can't tell. Rowan? Ah, uh, yes. He must be talking about that druid family. They were called the Rowanberry Druid or something of that sort bad time not too long before the druid and the alchemist had burned the city and then there was a whole bad business with the prime minister she was a druid too we lived through all of that can you blame us for not liking druids too much we were just worried the children would get hurt you know i mean what if one of our little ones became a druid too can you blame us for not for telling them not to get too close hello hunter and hello indra I'm, I'm gonna drop some hearts in chat. Nice to see you guys. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Hearts all around. <laughs> but that's ancient history. If you're looking for some more recent information, I don't know what to tell you. I moved away a while ago. I wasn't sure what to think with that one. <laughs> I, w I think I was more confused about the sound, like what's happening, what's, what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. In something like this, I felt feel the years melt away. My darling grandson has a wonderful eye for fashion. Ask about Rowan. Rowan? Is she from this town? I'm afraid I'm not a local. I'm visiting from Tara, you see. Okay, so now we have to visit um Abnia. Location. What's the location button here? I feel like it might have switched. Um, what is the fee? Oh, 
I have VIP, so I can teleport anywhere I want. Oh, I don't even have to pay. And hello, Hunter. Thank you so much for the cupcake. Honestly, I should have teleported where the bard camp was. Oh my gosh, I'm running into walls. I'm going the wrong way. I don't know why I'm so confused right now. Your phone lingin'. Yeah, I put my phone right next to the mic so y'all hear it. I saw the notification flash by though, so I don't really need to open that right now. Inko. You know I like Inko trees? Primarily for a few reasons. There's a anime I like based on a game that I like. And they had um they had um Ginkgo trees as one of the main things. Like a symbolism thing. And then Ginko is the name of the main character of Mushishi. Convert play points to guild points. And then now that we're here, now that we're here, we might as well just check if anybody applied to be in our guild. No, no one knew did. I thought that said Ronnie is rice. I was like, what? Hunt. Gaze. Haunting gaze. I feel like those are both ghastly skills. Oh, shoot. <laughs> We're supposed to go over there. But how are you today, Hunter? <laughs> I was about to make a Hunter Hunter joke. <laughs> oh, look, Roman's here. Couldn't connect. Trying to reconnect now. Okay. Um, I don't know what's happening over on here. Um. Okay. There's nothing I can do about that. So if it's just not connecting, then I'll just not let it connect, you know? I think I'll exit out this, this one. And live. I ended. I I streamed long enough. On TikTok. Um. Yeah. It it, it wasn't working that well. Hmm. Maybe if I go live now. Maybe if I go live. Now on TikTok, it will work. It looks like it's working now. So we'll keep going. And then open here. Okay, perfect. Perfect! And then we will go over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let, me let, let me just close that. Oh, I'm supposed to go here. Oh, I was right next to her. A twig laden with... Okay, I already read this. I'm pretty sure I read this before. Ah, Grandmaster! I was just about to get back to work, I swear. Huh? No one ever comes by here. What are you doing? You want to know how things are? Uh, not bad. The lake is very quiet, and it's a good place to zone out. The sound of water tends to drown out annoying voices in my ear. And... Grandmaster is out. I thought it was a perfect time for a secret nap. A secret nap, so you can't tell anyone, okay? Rowan raises her finger to her lips and speaks to you in a low voice. If I don't work hard, Grandmaster will make it nothing but bean dishes. It doesn't seem fair that there are so many different ways to cook beans. You know what else isn't fair? I'm still hungry, even though I'm thinking about beans now. That shouldn't be possible. It hasn't even been possible since Grandmaster left. So why am I so, so hungry? Ugh. And thank you so much for the follow, Hunter. I appreciate it. How could I train under such conditions? I don't even have energy to lift my staff. Beneath the torrent of complaints? Rowan seems pretty down. She's hungry. Maybe food will lift her spirits? Give her food. Ignore her complaints. 
<laughs> give her food. Give her food. What is his face? I don't even have food. You know what I have? You know what? I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have the food right now. But you know what I have? Remember? I have that mushroom gratin. <laughs> I got that mushroom gratin, you know? With um, Miss Macchiato. Although I am curious to see what happens if you give her a bean. I have a bean! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, so I have a bean right there. I'm not sure if it will actually let me give it to her, though. And I'm not sure I want to give it to her. Give her food. Oh, I can give her the bean! <laughs> terrible! Why would I give her the bean? She hates beans! <laughs> I want to. If I could only like save and exit out, I would. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <gasps> I'm gonna give her a mushroom gratin. What if I give her a bean though? <laughs> Did I give her the bean? I know somebody requested that I give her a bean before, but I don't know. I don't. I don't want to do her dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna give her the mushroom gratin. Yeah, the mushroom garden. You offer her the mushroom garden. Um, um, thanks, but I can't, you know, because I really have to train. But thanks for thinking of me, I guess. Anyway, why are you here? You didn't come all this way just to visit, did you? <laughs> Do you want to go back to the Arcana Association room? Huh? That's not... It doesn't matter if I want to or not. I can't let more people get hurt because of me. And thank you so much for the candy. I love it. Plus, I don't only track the rest of you down. Rebecca, you discovered your power. Because you're already so good at controlling it. You've passed me by a mile. And I, no matter what I do, I'll never be that good. It's better if... If you'll never have to find that out. If I leave, you can just keep imagining I'm improving, right? So oh, please go tell Aorire, I'm sorry. But the cats, I love them. They're adorable. Useless girl, do you really think you should be sitting around chit-chatting? Or do you think you should be training? <laughs> Grandmaster, no, no. I was just, I wasn't sitting. Rowan jumps to her feet and races towards the entrance of the tent. Bro, we gonna have issues if you treat Rowan that badly. Like, you think I'm okay with that? You think I'm okay? Even with your two-tone, even with your two-tone two sage eyes. We might have matching eyes, but that does not excuse you. <laughs> she really do. She really got the same eyes. <laughs> her two-tone, two-tone, white crested two-tone sage eyes. <laughs> it's upsetting that I have the same eyes as her right now. Yeah, I'm the kid's grandmother, and you're... Hmm, you're that famous Malaysian. Yes, I am Birog of the Rowan Berry Tree. Just call me Birog. She squints at you, frowning. After a moment, her frown shifts to one of puzzlement. I was looking forward to getting a chance to scold that adult who'd been foolish enough to lure my innocent granddaughter to the most crowded city on the continent. But now that I've seen you... Well, you have... A power quite similar to Rowan's, but it actually seems to be stable. Perhaps there's a glimmer of hope after all. Even so, there's no way I can let you take her back with you. She still has far to go on the path of becoming a druid. Grandmaster! Uh, not again! She throws her hands in the air, raising her normally flat voice. Just because I want to learn magic doesn't mean I have the slightest interest in becoming a druid. You would let the path of the Rowan bury druids wither away after I'm gone? How am I meant to face Birch to knowing that? Hmm? His new disciple is half your age, and yet has twice your maturity. What have I done to make you like this? You're more of a disappointment than Taphne. Whatever. Ruin turns on her heel, storms into the tent. Well, well at least now we can talk. I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure Rowan can learn a lot from you that she couldn't learn from me. I think she may manage to grow up at last. Perhaps you even addressing her failings someday. 
However, her magic is still unstable. If her emotions fluctuate, there will surely be another explosion. Do you really think you can handle that? Without reliable safety measures, she'll never be able to stand up on her own. What about the bag? What about the Rowanberry tree? What, what bag? I don't know what bag we're talking about. All I got is my Miss Macchiato, my little barista fairy. I'm going to say, what about the Rowanberry tree? It's naive to think you can rely on the Rowanberry tree forever. And in Rowan's case, the tree that keeps her magic in check has long since lost its strength. You see, it was planted by Rowan and her older sister, Dara. And it's been some years since we've had heard any word from Dara, and the tree's nearly dead. The tree t if the tree dies, its blessing will too. But you see the issue that weighs on me. There's only so much time until that happens. Before it does, Rowan will need to be in complete control. What about the bag? Rowan has a bag meant to contain negative emotions, doesn't she? A faint smile appears on Birog's face. Ah, the bag that holds emotions. That's a lie. In my experience, that sort of magic never works. Perhaps it can cut out an emotion for a short while, but it'll eventually return to its owner. Even if you can manage it, you'll be losing a part of yourself. No, no matter the emotion, I don't think that's wise. The bag is just there to bolster Rowan's own innate control. A visual tool, and perhaps a confidence boost at best. Sometimes, belief truly does make a difference. It really does, though. That's placebo. <laughs> like, that's the effect of a placebo. Ugh. I wanted to keep this short for both of our sake, but it doesn't seem like there's simply too much to say. Only a precious few can hope to control the Sla. And Rowan isn't one of those few. He's a child of a human and an un- extraordinary half-former. All I've, all I've had to go on to understand her power is a handful of fragmented tales, probably at least half-fiction. She lets out a third sigh. Well, there's no other explanation, no other way to explain. I'll just tell Rowan's whole sad history. Tell me the whole thing. Skip to the important part. <laughs> no! Tell me the whole thing. Rowan's father... For all he was half incubus, altogether ordinary. None of Rowan's powers manifested in him. Huh? What? Rowan's father. For all. Oh, whoa! I skipped too much. A battle like that throws everything off balance, everything it touches. The land and the people, too. Humans, formers, fairies, spirits, and those who exist on the borders between. All were swept away from their rightful paths. When the war was over, it's hard to describe that time to one who wasn't there. You youths tend to assume that it's all exaggeration and fear. I can only ask you to trust that all I say is the truth. The flames of that war were metaphor and literal both. We survivors found ourselves in a land ash blighted, crops withered, and many starved. Water was contamination, and many died of thirst. In some senses, though, that was not the worst of it. The worst was the sense in the air that no one, your own race or another, could be trusted at all. In the end, though, the Knight of Light and his followers were triumphant, and the Formers were not. They lacked resources, they lacked leaders, they lacked hope. When one side has all the power and the other has none, then some of the powerless are bound to take a path that leads to disaster. Humans and Formers are no different than this. The formers began to experiment. They sought to grant a measure of power of their strongest to the rank and file. Hunter, what's that face? What's that face for? <laughs> Rowan's father was discovered and as a half former, and one who had turned his back on them, was considered a prime subject for this experiment. Oof. Blessedly, it ended in failure. Rowan's father gained no power, but the formers didn't realize that, for some reason. Although Rowan's father was not affected, Rowan was. It was a small amount of power, but even so, if the formers discovered it back then, it would have meant great suffering for Rowan. With aid from my daughter and son-in-law, I managed to steal away that power, at least until my daughter and her husband died. After that, the seal broke, and nothing it could do would restore it. The slough feeds on negative emotions. When it touches, it draws out darkness and unhappiness. 
this attention has not made more life more pleasant for Rowan. In the face of that, what can you do? We make our little charms to ward against explosions. We try to find clues to the slowest whispers and siphon off Deutsche in advance. But there's no method I could find that would not run up against one unavoidable limitation. No reason. <laughs> How can one person avoid negative emotions? Learning to accept and move past them is part of what it means to live. But for Rowan, those emotions mean she'll get hurt and may also hurt Azur. I am tired. I've lived with this problem alone for some years. It happened too slow for me to notice, but I think I'd let a life of too much worry harden my heart. And in my fear, I pushed Rowan too hard and worsened her hurts. Who are you here? Offering for help? I feel more hope than I have in some time. Ah. It is hard to let myself know this, but it is true. Sending her away fills me with dread, but what else can I do? If she doesn't wish to walk the path of a druid, then she must find another. Since you've come for her, does that mean I can expect you to help her? Not in agreement. Thank you. Before you can reply, Thorog begins to chant. Her voice is low and steady, and a calm energy draws around her, deepening the lines of her face. There, I've done what I can to assist. Just keep an eye on her, and you'll know what you need to do. You should only have to show her once. She's lazy, yes, but sharp. She picks things up quickly. I'm depending on you. You're not the type to discard an old woman's only wish, are you? Rowan, who's waiting out of earshot, cautiously approaches. it. Let me give her back the bean. What? She didn't even eat my mushroom garden? Dang. A twig laden with red bear. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't need to read that again. Rowan looks nervously at Barog, but approaches you instead. Speaks in a shaky whisper. Sent me. Grandmaster sent me. What? Sent you to tell me I have to be a druid, right? Even if you try to convince me, I'm not going to do it. I'm not talented like my sister, and I don't have the right mindset. I have to train way, way too hard. And I still wouldn't be any good. I can still use magic, even if I'm not a druid. People do. Even if they're probably better than me, too. Hmm. You seem different than usual. Grandmaster cast magic on you? Why? Tell her what Birog said. You tell her what Birog said. No way. You really said it would be fine for me to go? That doesn't sound like her. She doesn't mind that, it, that I don't want to be druid as long as you can help me control my power? Uh, I'm sorry, but... Ugh, sorry you got dragged into this, but do you mind? I really, really don't think I can become a druid. My master says, druids have to eat food they don't like. I don't want to eat beans all day long. I'll do my best. I don't know about that. I'll do my best. It doesn't seem likely that druids actually eat beans all day long, but you agree anyway. Hmm. I knew you'd get it. Okay, I'll activate Grandmaster. Magic now. Rowan puts her hand on yours with a look of concentration. You'll discover what it must do shortly. My magic only nudge things in the right direction. Oh, as I'm sure you've noticed, it's not enough to simply feel for this sort of thing. You must be able to see and touch it, so I distorted the essence ever so slightly to give it phys physicality. Rowan, are you paying attention? Ugh, you're making that face again. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose this is to be expected, after all. Very well. Malation, I'll simply wish you luck. Rowan, watch carefully. Fine. Just as Roland is about to step back, a strange black and purple object appears before you. Destroy the materialized Dorsha. Mar- uh, Marcia, okay. Um, so I guess I have to- They are created of pure emotion. You don't have enough Dorsha. I never have enough Dorsha! I never do! I was thinking maybe they're going to want me to use um, Dark Diviner stuff. 
but it's actually fine. It's fine. Well done. It seems that proved no challenge for you. If only it was that easy to change one thinking for good. But once a limitation is learned, it's no small feat to unlearn it. May I ask if you've encountered embodied emotions before? You seem to have experienced, in fact. Seeing how you handled yourself made me realize something. Rowan. When I forced you to walk the path of a druid, every time I had a smooth, when I pushed you and criticized you, the truth is, I was afraid of the world. I was afraid of what you would face. So, while I could, I wanted to show you as much of it as possible. If you had none other to stand by your side, I knew that if, that if you could learn to control it, you would at least have your power. But that is one thing I could not teach you. You must find that within yourself. So I set myself to do the one thing I thought I could do. To show you what was out there. To expose you to as much as I could. To all sorts of problems you might see. But in the end, it seems you found your own way to new experiences. Your own way to grow. It certainly seems like you found something better out there. Given how long it took to get even one letter. No, Grandmaster, you were right after all. I, I'd i rather not be mad at you. Not for any of it. Your plans worked out, right? I had warm food, a place to stay, thanks to you. And because you prevented that explosion, I can be a member of the Arcana Association. I have people to spend time with, and a title I can be proud of, and everything. It does my dour old heart good to hear you say that, but... I don't believe it's true. Rowan, you did all those things, not me. All that I did in the name of tough love was cause you pain and hold you back. Please don't blame yourself for this old woman's failings. My heart, my fear, my impatience made me blind. If I had been, if I had more time to teach you, I'd have more time with your parents or your sister, but my wounds don't excuse the wounds I passed on to you. I'm truly sorry, my dear. My da, da da blau, grandmaster. I'm okay. Well, maybe not totally okay. Maybe not yet, but I will be. And and I know that you were trying to help me grow. You did help me grow. Very well. Anyway, you were so cool back then. <laughs> you really were. It's rare to see someone spring into action like that. I'm starting to think you're the same sort of hero. <laughs> I'll need a bit of a bit to recover, but then I'm gonna work hard to find ways to control my power. Thank you. Thank you. I kinda wanna leave a bean here. <laughs> and see what if somebody gives it to her. A twig laden with red berries. Her, oh, okay, I already read that. You approach one, but she holds out a hand to stop you before you speak. Give me a moment. I'm trying to think. Is this the most effective method? It could be. It's good that it eliminates movement and punctures through the outer layers, and some will be lost in the process. Tutor, you're going to take my you're going to be my tutor from now on, okay? Well, doesn't that make more sense? After all, you're on the same path as me, and you've helped me so much it's only fitting. I may have started on our path first, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that we both work together. To learn and move forward, right? That sounds like a mature thing to say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really mean it. I'm looking forward to working with you, Tudor. Anyway, don't worry. I remember what you showed me. It might take a lot more work than it took you, but I'll get to handle it. Materializing the Dorsha so it could be destroyed. I never in a million years thought of that. And why would it turn into a weird little blob? Anyway, what I meant to say is I admire you, Tudor. If you're walking the same path as someone, it's impossible to compare your progress. But I've decided not to be jealous. I'm learning so much from you, after all. <sighs> My silly little granddaughter. Before you go, the rug clicks her tongue and hands a rowan berry bench to her. Let this old woman give you a few more pieces of advice, will you? Don't let, don't let yourself be complacent. After you use to, to your new surroundings, keep seeking out new experiences. That's the only way you'll learn how to solve your own problems. And it will be easier to get that experience if you take fewer naps in the middle of the day. Ooh. Ooh. Look at her face. 
Even she's not okay with that. <laughs> Grandmaster. Okay, sure. Can I go now? One more thing. Don't rely on too much of too much on destroying your dosha. Control is still the most important. This is a backup for whenever you really can't do it any other way. And don't lose your Rowanberry branch. It'll keep you safe. I get it. Now can I go? Very well. Off you go. Rowan smiles brightly and curtsies at Virag. I'll see you later then, Grandmaster. I'll see you back at the association room, okay? It's not that I don't want to go with you, but if I did, I'd end up being a nuisance. A nuisance? When I take Moongate, I end up in strange places. It has to do with the history of the Moongate. Maybe you don't know this already, but it wasn't always true that you could just take one wherever you wanted to go. You had to go... You could only go when the rift connected directly. That changed when the alchemists of the thing built the Elka Tower. Oh, I don't need to go into all the details, though. You probably don't care that much. Actually, I do care. Because you, do you remember? Do you guys remember the whole history of Mavi? Before, like, I'm talking about, like, years ago. <laughs> like, in 2008. Um, in 2009. Like, um, like, in those days, it was that you could only access moon gates at night. And that was, that was something interesting. So now that I'm thinking about it. They built an Ewaka tower so that um, we could use the moon gates whenever. That's a good way to explain it. <laughs> no, the only bit that matters is that the Ewaka tower artificially stretches the flow of mana to, to connect each moon gate together. Sometimes when it's stretched too far, there are gaps, and the slut likes to make itself known in those gaps. So if I set Tatara my, as my destination, I'm just likely to end up in Titan or even further away. It's a real pain. Some places I just can't reach no matter how hard I try. I think the slut doesn't like them. Anyway, I just don't want you to think I'm avoiding you. Not this time, anyway. No matter the state I was in, I still meant what I said before. And I don't want to be an inconvenience to the Arcana Association. I should get going. I have to head home before too long. I believe it is wondering where I went. Not home. The Arcana Association. That's what I meant to say, obviously. Before you can say anything, Rowan scuffles off towards the Alban Al Abnia Moongate. Holy girl. Don't listen to the things she says to you. She's going off to practice first. She'll be back when she feels ready. And not a mo moment sooner. In the meantime, let us talk a little bit more. There's something I'd like you to know. I actually really need to be right back. I need to use the restroom. I drank too much water. I think I might have been talking about water too much, too. <laughs> and I'm still talking about it. Okay. So, when I come back... I am going to talk to her. Pretend I have a be right back screen up now. Guess who's back? Back again. Huh? Did you see that pose she did? 1942 vibes. Ooh, which pose? 
I don't even know. <laughs> Let me actually adjust my chair. <laughs> you had one hand up. Oh, did I? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did And you know, it's so weird. It doesn't always happen. And your face was straight. You had one hand. Okay. Oh, like, like this? <laughs> okay, um... We need to talk to her and her her her, her white crested sage eyes. No, it's prophet. It's prophet. Uh, white crested prophet eyes. <laughs> First, I I feel I should tell you thank you, and also apologize. Like you were pointing at the sky diagonally, pointing at the sky diagonally. Let me try. It's so inconsistent. This hand tracking. It's like ridiculously inconsistent. I'm doing it, but it's not. I'm spending like... I have a hand! Okay. It's not working. Maybe, maybe another time. <laughs> First, I feel like I should tell you thank you and also apologize. Thank you for showing Rowan a new, found, a new way forward. I could never do that for her. It's the nature of my path as a druid. I can reveal the essence of things, or obscure it, but I cannot change it. You, however, are on a different path. Or perhaps it's not that you're on a path at all, but you blaze a trail forward, even where one, where none exists. <laughs> I never expected to find such a revolution waiting on my doorstep today. I'll send you, uh, you Discord if I can find it. Wait, I'll send you on disc if I can find it. Yes, I have my actual Discord, my personal one is just this. And then the link to my server Discord is... It's on my main website. And I'm pretty sure you can type Discord, uh, like exclamation mark Discord to find it. But I'll just type it right here as well. Ta-da! Copy link address. Eh, lemon. Sell me a lemon. But yes, I, I do think of that sometimes. EY, no thank you! And yes, I'm a trailblazer. And I want to apologize for the trouble Rowan will cause you. Now that she's deemed you her tutor. Ah, not that I believe that she intends you any harm, of course. And I don't believe that she'll lean on you too thoroughly. In fact, she seems to want to impress you. <laughs> I just wanted to say, you seem to understand her nature. I hope you'll be more patient with her than I was. OMG, cute server name. Thank you. I love sugar cookies. Actually, I'm very passionate about sugar cookies for like no reason. And specifically, I like the Loft House cookies. Y'all can hate on me all you want. In fact, the more you guys don't like sugar cookies, the more I can eat them. <laughs> but honestly, if you join my server, you'll be my sugar cookie. <laughs> and I love all the cookies. That's all. And now for the other thing I wish to tell you. I l I'd ask you to not tell Rowan this yet, as it's not definitive. And I don't want to burden her unnecessarily. Rowan's older sister Dara has been missing for some time. But let me tell you the story from the beginning. It's our tradition, as the Rowanberry, Druid tr Rowanberry Tree Druids, to plant a Rowanberry for all our children. Watch the shadows in the water, please. Grandma, be honest. Will this little seed really be able to t protect Rowan? Child, the seed will grow into a Rowan berry tree. Do you know the three things that Rowan berry trees symbolize? Remember them. Courage, solidarity, and protection. One planted by two people in solidarity, sol solidarity and blessed with the courage of a druid. It will bear the mana of those that planted it for as long as they live and grant protection to the one it is planted for. Ah, wouldn't it be better for mom to do this? I'm not better at this kind of thing than dad. Your father certainly does lack skill. I'll never understand what that girl sees in him. Mom said that she fell in love with him first. That's not the story that she should be telling you. 
Grandma, you can't be mad at Dad, okay? He's doing his best to learn, just like I am. Yes, yes, I know. And that's why I let him get away with all that I do. Anyway, to your question. The strength of your mana matters little. As it grows, the rowanberry tree will draw strength from the mana that surrounds us all. No, it is more important that this little tree lasts for us for a long, long time. I'm far too old to provide it with that. And even your mom and dad, as much as they act like children at times, are much older than you. So I think you're the right person after all. You will, you'll love Rowan your whole life, right? <laughs> of course I will. Okay, okay. If you say I'm the right person, then let's plant it. But better be around for a long, long time too, okay? <laughs> Very well, child. I'll do my best. Okay, here we go. Rowan, give me your hand, okay? We'll plant it together. <laughs> okay. With all love, with all the love of your big sister. There you go. A rowan berry tree to protect our little... Yes, I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to try again. <laughs> don't be mad, okay? If mom and dad were around, they'd have wanted to do something, but they're not. So I need to do it. Grandma, Rowan, take care of each other. Dara, you really have to go? Sweet little Rowan, people are suffering. People like our dad, or like you and me. The path of a druid for me is to help those kinds of people. Oh, Dara, you're so cool. You're going to beat up the bad guys, right? <laughs> Something like that. I promise I'll be back before you know it, okay? Be good for Grandma. It's shriveled. Dead. Oh, oh, my child. Of all of those walking the path, it's just us left. Rowan. But uh, something unexpected happened. For a long time after that, I kept my eyes away from that particular Rowan berry tree. I couldn't bear to see it with the last of its life drained from it. But once the flower awoke fully in Rowan, I was desperate. I went to it again. I thought at least I could form a staff from what was left of it. The wood might still remember the shape of Rowan Flamana. To my shock, the tree wasn't dead. It was just stunted, barely holding on. But the spindly little branches still bore fruit. And yes, I can see you understand if the tree lives, it means Dara must live too. It had been so long. I had almost, almost resigned myself to ending the search. But seeing that, I knew I could not. But I couldn't tell Rowan. Not back then. I could time each tiny disaster to schedule for her childish excitement and subsequent disappointments. For her to get her hopes up about this and then to see no results. I thought even I could, would be unable to contain that storm. And even now, you understand why I ask of this, you, ask this of you, right? I actually do. Please don't tell her yet. And when she receives, and when she hears the news, be kind to her. I hope I can count on you for that. Not in agreement. Thank you. Hearing you say that with sincerity takes a weight off my back. I only nodded. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I did not expect to, to meet you. But I find myself glad that I did. Once I'm sure Rowan is well settled, I'll be off to look for Dara once more. I'll leave Rowan in your care. Please, be good to her. It doesn't seem that, that all has been resolved. But immediately, the immediate danger has passed. Go back to the Arcana Association room and let Laurie know. Okay, wow, that was a doozy. If that's not the end, I don't know what to tell you. Like, that was a banger of a first quest. I am highly interested in her story. And I thought some of these quotes were pretty on point, too. This guy remember I mean, this lady reminds me of my friend. In fact, I think this is the female version of the same ears. Bless Wiggling Fox Headband. Okay. He wears clean- Okay, I'm not gonna read that. You're back. She told me what happened. Rowan, you were doing so well before that I'm quite looking forward to see seeing what you'll accomplish with your, with your renewed dedication. Uh, no pressure or anything though, right? <laughs> anyway, I couldn't have done it without your help, tutor. Anyway, um, 
Sorry for vanishing, Laurire. But if the Arcana wasn't the way for me to prove my worth after all, I, I, in that case, there would be no point for me to stay in the association. That's not true, Rowan. I'm sorry. I put off saying this to you for too long. Ay, ay, ay! The dance, the dance! <laughs> I, I'm gonna look for uh, somebody to do a wiggle emote for me. <laughs> I really like the wiggling. I like dancing. And I just want an emote to do that. To, to reflect. <laughs> to have some motion. That's not true, Rowan. I'm sorry. I put off saying this to you for too long. His eyes trace a slow path across the association room. Becoming an Arcana holder. Contributing to the Arcana research. Of course, those are the, are reasons why one would become a member. But they're not the Arcana's end goal. Oh. At the heart of it, I founded the association for one reason. To foster its members' skills. So that they could go on to, to make the world better. Arcana itself is merely a means to that end. It's no more and no less than a tool. It's admirable to wield a tool skillfully. But the skill cannot and should not be the whole of a person. Rowan. However, if an assessment from the Arcana from the Association would help set your mind at ease, that is something I can give you. Rowan, you're doing you well. Your engagement with the Association's research has provided several new insights, and you've had valuable advice to share on the topic of using Arcana. Ah, oh, am I doing well? I've never heard that before, to be honest. Everywhere I go, eyes follow me. Waiting to see if me prove myself as useful or trustworthy as anything more than a burden. Sent them tied up to the druids, tied to the former, tied to tragedy. I couldn't escape them, so I wrapped myself up in reasons and excuses. At least then, it'd be excuses they saw, not me necessarily. Laurire, it's not easy to make myself believe it, but I can tell you, you're right. Even before this power showed up, I was already ruined. I was already my family's... That... I don't think I could do it right away, but I'll do my best to take take this to heart. This doesn't mean I'm going to stop working hard, though. All the annoyances in the world are nothing compared to the thought of seeing my sister again. And I'll never get there by standing still. If I stay determined and keep trying, it'll happen eventually, right? With a warm smile, Roland gives a little curtsy. Nice. So we finished the Dark Diviner. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we finished the Link Quest 1. But now we gotta do the second one. But it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while to get to that second Link. Because I don't even run text like that. Frostmere of the Tectun Expeditionary Forest. Well, I'm Star Dawn. Let me see if there's smoldering thread for fail. Smold smoldering. Oh, I smelled it. I mean, I spelled it wrong, but what if I just do bread? Oh, no. Um, there has to be the right thread in here. I don't think the frost thread is for sale, though, so I don't think I can buy that. But there's the smoldering thread. Are you ready to put on your best smolder chat? Let me see if I can do a smolder. It looks like a frown. It looks like I'm frowning. Maybe... I don't think I can do a smolder. I think that would be too hard. But it was worth trying. And I believe this is the cheapest. Let me not buy it right away. I don't I don't know how much it's gonna take a while to get there anyway. So we don't need to rush it anyway. Um we'll need 75 and then we'll meet we'll need to be dark diviner level 20 or higher. Okay, so I guess now that that's done, why do why do there have to be so many stairs? I can appreciate her. 
You know there's merch of her you can buy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, since we're here, I might as well just pull up the link. Because I'm kind of debating if I should buy it or not. I don't know. Because I love her. I love her. But I'm not sure if I love her the same way I love Piran, you know? <laughs> like, I just love Piran so much. I had to buy it. But I'm not sure. Okay, so here. Um, 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 um. Hey, baby, it's only me. Boopity boo, I scared you. Hold on. Where's the properties button? Okay. Um, Chrome. Perfect. And then share, close. Okay, so look, Rowan has so much merch. And actually, actually, I wasn't sure if I'll be able to use it, but I can definitely use this keychain because I'm getting Piran merch. And I can definitely at least take off the Mabinagi keychain right here and then use that. Um, let me see. Actually, let me see how much this stuff costs. Uh, I, thought I, was, I thought this came with a trash can. I was confused for a second. I, I won't buy this. I don't need that. The Arcana desk mat. I won't need that either. I have my own mouse pad. Um, the charm magnet. That's actually cute. The figure bundle. I was like, mm, do I want this? It looks cute. Charm magnet. Okay, so if I were to buy something, it would definitely be this keychain, this $15 keychain. And it's not bad. It's not that bad, actually, price-wise. And I could definitely use it. Oh, are there two? Do you buy both of them? Oh, standing, sitting. Standing, sitting. I definitely like the standing one more than the sitting one. I feel like this sitting one is a little too close to the, the event when Arcana was released. I forgot what that event was called, but it was like a dice, like, like... Uh, I don't know. Was it like move through Aaron? I don't know what it was called. You know where the main... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me actually close it. So I'm debating if I should buy it or not. <laughs> um, But you know when the main act takes the stage and all the annoying people chatting through the open openers finally get quiet? When you show up, that's what it feels like. Ooh. She just said when the main act takes the stage and all the annoying chatting... Through the openers finally gets quiet. Oh, so I'm the main show. I'm the main show, according to Rowan. That's so sweet. What should we talk about now? Picking a topic is a no I mean, you'll probably think what whatever I come up with is boring. Why don't you choose? I'm ready. Private story. The first thing I heard, the slowest voice, I thought it was familiar. There were people around, so I tried talking to everyone to see if, if I could find who had spoken, but it wasn't anyone. I thought it might have just been a dead person or a spirit, so I asked Grandmaster. She thought it was the voice of my father, but my father would never felt like the slut in his life. If he had, it wouldn't have been half as easy as it was for Mother to rescue him from the experiments he underwent. So, how could it be him? Okay, well, I'm quite- well, I want to see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see what she says about Piran. <laughs> Would she know him? Hold on, hold on. I know one of these buttons is Piran. Okay, there it is, there it is. Piran? That name sounds familiar. Who is that? Wait, don't tell me. I swear, I almost caught it. Oh, he's a member of the Order of Hummeric, right? I heard that the stuffed shirts... What? I've heard the stuffed shirts from the Pontus Court who are always trying to hang around me, muttering about him. Well, I know how people talk, obviously. But I think it was really brave of him to participate in the expeditionary force as an ordinary person. It can't have been easy for anyone, but especially for him. <laughs> I guess that's easy for me to say, as someone with no involvement whatsoever. End your conversation with Rowan. So she does know him! I'm a fan. I'm happy. And now... And now... We'll have to figure out something to do. Let's go ahead and see if I can check up on the the um, homestead of it. You know what's so funny? Because I named Friendship Farm. I think I actually was playing Kingdom Hearts at the time. I don't think we always had homestead. I don't remember. No, it was before Kingdom Hearts. It was before Kingdom Hearts. Now I didn't think about it. I think I named my Kingdom Hearts thing after this. Um, but I was always a fan of friendship. Now, if I will, if I could change it, I probably would. No, I probably wouldn't because now I feel nostalgic about it. Friendship farm. A 
Oh, some of my pets are like exhausted. Let's go see if anybody else finished their quest. I don't actually think I did that first. I feel like I did. I no, I did. I did check. I did check. And everybody was done. And then we can organize our inventory a little bit if there's something going on in here. There is. I actually need to bring my dragon out because my dragon has my coupon, which is where some of these items would go. And my alpaca too. Let's get my dragon out. Dragon, dragon. Rock the dragon, dragon ball Z. Dragon, dragon. Gl Glen Glenis. Glenis. These are where I put every single one of my tickets. If I have a ticket, it's right here. And then I will need to get a feather, a phoenix feather from my shopping cart. Imagine using your advanced phoenix feather on this. And that's exactly what I'm about to do. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm about to do. To get alpaca meal up. Really? Al... Alpaca meal. Are you awake? Yes! Yes! Okay, I thought you had my, um... Pet essential oil. Was that the wrong alpaca? There is a third alpaca. Hunter! Hunter, which alpaca has it? No. No. What? Who has my pet essential oil then? Is it Zuma Zuma Ye? Zuma Zuma Ye has a lot of my overfill. I can tell you. Which one? I feel like you're gonna be like, for a small fee. Um... It... It's who? Ayúdame. It's... No, I'm gonna just put it here. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'll just put it there just because I don't know where else it could be. And... Yeah. Meow will be later, I'll find out. Who's supposed to have it? Oh, I do have your item, not your item. Oh, this is a pillow too. I forgot the star cushion, but I just went with a traditional pillow for um, easy use redeem. But I'm not sure if I'm going to find where my pet essential oil original pet is. Maybe it's in my shopping cart. Maybe I just missed it entirely, but it was in my shopping cart. It's not here, but you know what? It's okay. It's fine. Meow be later will be the one who has that stuff now. But that said, I had a great stream. I'm not sure if there's anything we else we can do in this short time. Oh, we can play the mini game. We can play the mini game. The mini games for um the event. Because honestly, if we're not doing it live, I don't know if I'll do it or not. <laughs> real talk, real talk. You can't move while indoors. Okay. Um. We'll try this. Try this on for size. Ping. We're going to go ahead and use... Oh, no, no, no. We're already out here. We just need to enter Pestia. And then I'll go ahead and put this away in the me tab. You 
kind of reminds me of myself. Aesthetic wise. And I'm going to go ahead and close this party so we can at least try the... Ooh, what am I... Okay. I, I feel like I hit an invisible wall right there. But, um... We're going to try the basketball mini game and then possibly the trial trial of the trial of stages, I forgot what it's called. Um and we need to talk to the snack merchant too for the that mini game. What is the person's name? Jessua. Um your snack merchant, right? Yeah, snack merchant, memory match. Let's see how matchy we're doing. That's pepperoni ghetto pizza. Cucumber. Cucumber. Um mango. Nutella. Mango. Oops, my bad. What the? Okay. This is not one of the days of master memorization. Okay. Um this. That one. Ay, ay. Okay, so we did good. I don't know how to exit this. Is this is this literally the life you're just supposed to exit out? I guess you're supposed to change channel for this menu to disappear. I feel like it's weird that they don't let us exit out that channel. I actually have the China seventh anniversary outfit. But I'm not going- I'm not selling it. I'm not selling it. It's too nostalgic to me. Because I was there. I was there for that. Um, Tomo Neko is on a roll. And then let's go ahead and do the basketball game while we're here. And where is that one? Is it- did I pass it? There it is. I figure that any crowd of people must be where it is. But you know, there's not that many people here, so I don't know what happened. Who for the stars? Okay. Oh, I didn't even realize they had like Arison's voice. I wonder if I can beat my record. More than 103. That means we have to do well. We can't miss a single one. We have to hit it as quickly as possible. Yeah, I actually already botched it, but... Oh, shoot. Oh! See, I'm getting way too many normals. Too many normals. Oh, but I got 105! That's actually better! Beep beep. Beep boop. Okay. The third round of Stage of Trials. And that is a hot looking guy. A cat looking guy. Where is he? Where is he? I love this place. Did I really just do a complete loop around this thing just to get back at him? Wow. All of these things are like in a triangle next to each other. Oh, I really underestimated how hot this mascot suit would get. So let's go ahead and do that. Enter the stage of trials. Basic. Let's go. Let's enter. And honestly, we only need to get to the third stage, and then we're good. Mm -hmm. That Okay, so I actually beat it already, right? Actually... I don't even think I want to finish this. I have no interest. <laughs> I don't- I, I already beat the quest, so... I think I'm gonna go out to make a wish at the bonfire. 
oh what time is it what time is it it is 5 40 p.m is that is that time complete it for stickers eh i don't know maybe later but thank you so much for coming in critical fire buy the doll bag pouches oh i see those things or don't it's up to you <laughs> thank you for looking out for me hey fam and hello robert how you doing what time does this become open is it 7 p.m this person they remind me of they remind me of the fairy king um oberon in um summoner wars chronicles i know oberon is the fairy in midnight summer stream 7 p.m until 7 a.m okay so we're still too early for this and stream will end by the time i am able to do this i feel like it's three minutes is it no, it's four minutes right we have to wait for four minutes i mean we could probably wait a little bit we can wait a little bit how are you critical fire and how, how are you robert Shall we sit down while we wait? Or it's better than working in Festia. What? What do you mean it's better than working in Festia? You, I can't make have a conversation with you. I'm good. I'm gonna start stream suit up soon up to test some things. Nice. Got anything new in planned or just trying to fix some of the issues you had last time? I know last time it was like on and off. Are you? Oh, Brett. I thought Brett was standing in front of me. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Where's the sit button? There it is. My hot keys are a mess. Trying to fix the issues. I see. But thank you so much for the lurk. And let me go ahead and shout you out. Let me go ahead and shout out Critical Fire. Shout out. Critical Fire. There we go. And I believe that's the only streamer who is here. Is Hunter a streamer? Hold on. Hold the phone. Hunter, you're a streamer, right? Yeah, I remember your voice being super relaxing. When were you live last? Let me check. I'm so nosy. Last stream six months ago. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure I was at that stream six months ago. Let me see. Oh, I forgot to shout out Easy. Well, regardless, thank you everyone for coming. Let me, is it actually seven already? Is it seven? Yes, it is seven. So let me go ahead and get that. Firewood. B. No, it's T. T is the command. I'm trying to remember all these hockeys. I have never used them. In, like, I just don't use hockeys. And what order do the pets go in? Because I feel like it's kind of weird. Like the order that the pets are. But let's go ahead. Attract the lucky flame. Bring thick red balls. Okay, so I'm going to do sharing the warmth. Five pieces of firewood. Proceed. Five pieces of firewood. And then I'm going to make a wish. Um. I'm going to do Echo Stone Advancement help. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really need these wishes. I'm just doing it for the quest. Oh, I got a lot of stuff from that. Let's check what we got. <laughs> is this a Echo Stone Advancement thing? Oh, we got an item. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. So that lasts seven days. I'll do I'll use that on Wednesday. You know, I might as well just leave everything here. It's a little too much to keep track of. But thank you so much for coming, everyone. I am going to raid out to someone playing Mabby right now. Hopefully, Mabby. None of my friends are live. I know we do prefer. Do we prefer Mabby or do we prefer friends? None of my friends are on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
None of my Mabby friends are on. Well, Doggy Blue is on, but he's playing um a different game. Dog! You guys want to see Doggy Blue? I am down to raid Doggy Blue. But hold on, I gotta send him a DM because I feel like he goes off every time I come on. You know, like, he raided to me right when I left, and then he- and then I raided to him right when he left. So it was so weird. <laughs> I don't know how to check. Let me just go on his stream on my phone. Mm -hmm. check for you. You want me to check for you? You want me to check for you? Doggy, doggy blue. I'm blue. Abba di da do die. Abba di da bu die. Abba di da do die. I hope he sees that. I'm going to. Oh, wait, what was that? I just saw something on Mabby's website. VIP. Oh, is that a VIP package? I don't need that. Let me just check. Let me just check. What is this? It's a 16th anniversary sale. Yeah, I don't need rebirth potions or still training things. Arcana, no, I'm fine. Honestly, it looks like he's gonna be streaming for a while. It does. It looks like he's gonna be streaming for a while. So I'm I'm leaning towards ra ra raiding him. Go ahead. Raid. Doggy Blue. And thank you so much for coming, everyone. I'm going to cry if he ends stream suddenly. Oh my gosh. Did I not? Okay, hold on. Thank you so much to everyone who came, who is just hanging out. And thank you, Critical Fire, Indra. Uh, Doggy Blue was here for a moment, so honestly, yes. Um... Fox, it, thank you so much for coming, Fox. Um, Easy, Rowdy, Hunter. I believe that's everyone. Thank you all so much for coming. And any lurkers, thank you so much. And anybody on YouTube who will watch this later, thank you so much. It does mean a lot that you chose me. So have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye. Love you guys.